Good day to you and welcome on Bakerization and today I'm here to show you how Rocket League actually performs on my 940M laptop. So on the left you can see my rig, it's 600-2000U i5 processor which is a lower Ultra Ultrabook 1 940M graphics and um, 8 gigs of RAM, slow ones, 800 megahertz and standard hard drive. So how does it perform? Right now, um, I am running this on 1366 just because of the recording, however, I have tried 1080p and 1080p works if you go to mm, let's, uh, performance setting. However, performance setting looks extremely, extremely bad. So I've created this custom one uh, where on 1080p I can actually run 30 to 36 FPS. Um, on the left top you see the FPS uh, and on the top bottom or left bottom you can see um, the table that I've created for this. Now this is the custom setting. So you can see that I have lowered FX uh, from MLAA which is on the highest quality to FXAA. I have uh, turn off ambient occlusion, bloom, motion blur and weather effects. Otherwise this is highest a uh, high quality setting and actually turning off FXAA uh, low, going from L MLAA to FXAA gave me like 3 to 4 FPS and ambient occlusion bloom and motion blur actually gave me another 4 to um, let's say maximum of 3 so on these settings 30 to 36 FPS with uh, or on 1080p um, if you want to get more than that, you can take a look at the table and for example if you want to achieve 60 FPS, uh, you probably won't be able to achieve this on uh, with the highest possible settings. However, um, I have to say that uh, resolution in this game doesn't really make such a high difference and uh, it's okay to play 16 to 900 and high quality I'd say, uh, maybe, maybe just tweak it a little so it looks good because otherwise the, the game looks extremely terrible and on 16 to 900 and high quality preset with high FXAAs meaning that you can actually get it to low which is this one and uh, you will probably be able, uh, be able then to attain solid 60 FPS with MLA and or uh, high FXAA it's actually 56 to 59 so very close but not still there yet now let me show you the hardware monitor so that you can see that once again the processor is fine and the GPU is what uh, bottlenecks this game so yeah if uh, if you have a better processor you might able might be able to get like a few extra FPS like one or two maybe but what really makes difference in this game is the graphics card so yeah hope that this helps you decide whether to get this game or not um, I know that its popularity went down a bit, but it's still a pretty solid game, a pretty good looking game, uh, and well, if you spend enough time trying to improve yourself in the game because these um, controls are, they are good, but they are difficult, so yeah, you might enjoy this. Well, hope that it helps you again decide whether to get this game or not. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.